All right, last one that we'll look at. Uh, this time it's a little bit more user friendly. Now, unfortunately for you guys, I'm probably not going to put ones like this uh, on your test because I know you can just use a calculator. I'm going to give you ones more like the one I gave you before. So, uh, this is f of x is equal to x squared, and what we want to try to get is f of x equal to 2 parentheses x plus 3 in uh, parentheses squared minus 1. So, again, we're going to do the rules. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do horizontal shifting. Horizontal shifting is our C value, which in this case is this right here. So uh, it's x plus 3, so we're going to actually shift it left 3. So we're going to take each of those points and move them left 3. When we do, our graph is going to look a little something like this. Okay, so that's our horizontal shifting. Hopefully, I moved everything left 3. Okay, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do the rest of it. So uh, next we're going to do basically our, uh, our stretching and shrinking. And I'm actually going to uh, throw in there our reflections. Well, we don't have a reflection here. Our A is positive, our B is positive, so there will not be no reflection. But uh, we do have an A, so we do have uh, A is a positive 2, so that's going to be a vertical stretch. So we're basically going to take all these Y values and multiply them by 2. Well, this is uh, negative 3 comma 0. When you multiply that by 2, you're still going to get negative 3 comma 0. This is negative 2 comma 1. Well, when you multiply that by 2, you get negative 2 comma negative 2. Uh, negative 4 comma negative 1, or positive 1, will now be negative 4 comma positive 2. So again, all I'm doing is taking the y values represented by these ordered pairs and multiplying them by a. So this was 4, now it's going to be at 8. Whoops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh yeah, barely fits. And then that value is going to look the same. So as you can see, the effect of my graph is it's going to be a vertical stretch. Whoa, I missed my dot. Not the best drawing ever. Again, I'm using a little tablet here, so it's unfortunate. Uh, and then the last thing I'm going to do is apply my nice little... Uh, vertical shift, so I'm moving everything down one. So I'll move this point down one. Uh, those two will both come down one. And then that point that was at eight, now will be at seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that'll be there also. So our ending graph will actually look like this when you apply all those transformations. So again, make sure you use the rules. Okay, horizontal first, and then uh, your stretching and shrinking, and then your reflections, or you can do those at the same time, and then uh, your vertical shifting. Good luck.